Imagine if you're a comedian and all of a sudden your cue card has all kinds of talking points from politicians and foreign governments on it. Don't read it. You degrade yourself and you become complicit in the greatest crime in history. Yesterday, we learned that the, um, the Department of Energy, you probably know about this, believes with what they described as low confidence that COVID may have leaked from a lab in China. Eight federal agencies now have weighed in with their assessments. Four believe COVID came from natural transmission. Two say it was a lab leak, and two are still undecided. In other words, we don't know. But the dingbats now see this as some kind of proof that they were right, that the virus came from a Chinese leak at a laboratory, which, by the way, it might have. The point is, we didn't know then. We still don't know now. But what we did know is that Trump and his buddies blaming the Chinese resulted in a great deal of anti-Asian American sentiment and even violence in this country, and that's why it was irresponsible for the president to call it the China virus. 